Hey guys, Eddie Blanco here, the broker of Stratwell. And today I'm here with my partner, Isaiah Prieto. And we're talking about the real estate market and is now the right time to sell. We don't want to be the cliche realtor and fall under the cliche of as to why or be the cliche of, hey, right now is the time to sell your house. Right. If you ask any realtor right now in the market, if, it's, if now is the time to sell, they're all going to tell you yes, because they want the listing right away. We most likely, it depends, if it may not be the right decision for you, we won't, right? Hence the name, Stratwell, strategizing well. Kind of where we took a lot of our message from, right? And, and we believe truly in that, so. And I think it's important that we talk about that. And that we're not trying to persuade anybody to sell their house uh, now. Uh, we simply want to give you some good information and, and that you could do that in your decision-making process. A lot of people ask us, is now a good time to sell? There's a lot of factors that play into that, right? and uh, we don't know your specific situation. It right. may not be the right time to sell for you, but we are gonna be talking about the market today and why, um, why we think now is a good time to sell. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that moment now that if you have any questions or if during this video we didn't cover a specific scenario uh, that, that relates to you and you want us to go ahead and talk about that or give you some of our points and tips and, and our perspective on your scenario to see if, if right now is the time to sell, uh, feel free to drop a comment below or send us an email or a DM or wherever you find a way to reach us. Uh, feel free to go ahead and reach out to us because we'd love to help you. All right, so let's talk about number one reason why, well not number one, not in any particular order, but let's talk about one of the reasons why. Right now, inventory of single family homes and town homes is low and because inventory is low and buyer demand is at least neutral um, that's causing pricing to go up so inventory is low and when inventory is low there's few properties to select from and if someone wants to make a decision to buy a home they only have a few homes to select from and that is a good thing if you are a home seller yep another good thing right now that's out there is this whole change in our new normality the whole thing with COVID and just all the precautions that everyone's taking, uh, most people are working from home. And with that being said, the future looks like most people will be working from home for a long time. And with that, more people are inclined to get rid of working from that dining room table that they've been working on for a couple months, right? And maybe opt out for that short commute uh, for more bedrooms and baths or, or more bedrooms. Yeah. Maybe not for baths, but maybe the guy wants to take more showers or whatnot, but <laughs> it, de it definitely wants another room for the, for, for the office. Yeah, no, actually I'm working with a customer who was looking in one area because it's closer to where they work. Okay. But now that they're, they, they don't have to commute anymore, they're like, you know what? we're going to check out this other area and they're now opened up to a whole different market. Right. And so that's for the sellers in that neighborhood that this guy is now going to be open to buying in that neighborhood because it's a commute. Yep. So that's how that chain reaction happens. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of people looking for alternative ways. And now a new joke is, can you find yourself quarantining in this house? You know, <laughs> um, people are finding that, that their, their current home life situation isn't working for them. Uh, and because they're home more, they're, they're thinking, you know what, maybe it's time to make that move. Yeah. And a lot of people are, are, are going to opt for that. So it, with all that movement in the marketplace, it creates a good opportunity as a seller to, to position your house, to, to put it out there and see if you can get the price that you're looking for. Another amazing scenario that's happening in, t in today's times is the all time low interest rates. Because the interest rates are so low, we've never seen them this low, right? Our parents' parents haven't seen them this low. Right? And so if you put it in that perspective, people see right now an interest rate right now hovering around the twos or something that's just been historically low uh, looking back at time and you get really excited. You say, I'm going to go ahead and now take advantage of this and solidify my home ownership. And that can lead to a positive return to a seller. That's right. So if you're contemplating a sell, you know, that, that, that may be a variable that can, that can maybe push you over the fence because you're going to have a few people lined up wanting to buy it. Exactly. So you might be in a higher interest rate right now and think, you know, maybe I could refinance or maybe you can sell and sell and then go lock in a new 30 year mortgage at a really, really low rate. 
So you get to upgrade home, uh, take your you know take your equity, which kind of leads me into the next one, right? Take your chunk of equity and shift, and, and shift it, and then get it with a new interest rate. So that's another good reason why I take advantage of this market conditions that we're in right now. Or also, and sorry to interrupt, but also the people that bought wrong, right? Let's say you made a horrible decision, right? You got stuck with the property and you got stuck paying for it. You could never get out of it. You couldn't sell earlier uh, because equity wasn't there. Now it looks like values are surpassing 2007, 2008, 2009, which is the height of the crisis. Uh, and because we're kind of pairing off and probably surpassing it, it's causing people to be in a better scenario to sell. Oh, absolutely, yeah. There's That's one of the reasons why in our video about why the market might not adjust, which you can check it out here. What was the name of that video? Why, what was it? Is the market gonna crash? So check that video out and you can hear about that. And, and what we, what right. we talk about in that video is, is you know, is the market going to crash and why it not? But the point I was going to say is it's not going to be another 2008 because uh, homeowners have a lot more equity. You know, if you bought in 2011, 12, 13, 14, you have equity. You're sitting on a chunk of cash. Uh, your home value has probably gone up 40, 40, 50 percent. So you can take that money now, cash it out tax free because if you have a homestead up to $250,000 for a single person, 500 for a couple, take that money tax free, move it into a new property. It's a bigger property, low interest rate. It could be a smart thing to consider doing now. Yep. Another good reason is the uh, economy, right? Right now, I mean, there's a lot of people who, there's two reasons when you think about economy. <laughs> and it's interesting, right? Because on one side, you have a lot of people who are positive and optimistic about the economy and who have actually done very well during this COVID stuff. There's businesses that have, Quite, you know, think about the people who own stock in, in Zoom. <laughs> yep. You know, uh, just just that example, right? Or, or the newfound day traders now that everyone's a day trader. But everybody's, there's a lot of people who are confident, right? They've taken advantage of this market. They're taking advantage, of this, taking advantage market. of this market. They're out there buying. And those guys might be your buyer. Right. And that's a good thing for you. Sure. On the other side, some people are on the other side of the spectrum. They're like, you know what? This market is going to tank. And it's going to tank bad in 2021. And um, I'm not of that opinion. I don't think it's gonna tank bad, but I definitely think there's gonna be some adjustment. So you might wanna just cash out your money now and take advantage of this good, uh, positive time that we're in. If you think that maybe next year or the year after, we might see some economic downturn. So the economy and the fluctuation of the economy could be a reason for you to consider making a decision to sell now. I don't think we have any other points unless you have anything else. No, I think that wraps about all of them. And again, if we didn't cover anything regarding your certain scenario, or if you felt that you'd like us to review your scenario and possibly give you evaluation on your home, feel free to look at the links below. We do have a few valuable resources uh, for you to choose from. And don't forget to subscribe and, and follow us and drop a like anywhere you can. Uh, the more the merrier. Awesome. Thank Appreciate you much. It. Thank you guys for tuning in. Best.